Tonight, state police in Westmoreland County have released video stemming from an investigation into a fatal fire. They're hoping the person seen in the video, a possible witness, can give them some new clues. Ralph Iannotti is live in the studio with more. Ralph. Yeah, thanks very much. Tonight, the actual cause of this tragic fire, which claimed the life of an elderly woman, remains undetermined. Police are hoping somebody will come forward to identify a person who was seen not once, but several times in the immediate area of that deadly fire. This row house fire last week on South 7th Street in the city of Jeanette claimed the life of 87-year-old Shirley Kacherins. Her granddaughter, trapped on the second floor of one of the units, escaped the flames by jumping from a window. She remains hospitalized, fighting for her life. Today, state police released this video of an unidentified man walking near the row houses. Up until now, authorities have been unable to identify him. We did have some video surveillance footage that we saw an individual that walked back and forth past this location on multiple occasions and he appears to be at this location just a couple minutes before it catches on fire so uh, we believe he could be a witness to how this fire could have started. The state police fire marshal is trying to pinpoint the fire's origin. As our investigation stands right now we did take some uh, pieces of the building and we're trying to determine if there's any anything used they could have accelerated the fire, which is generally what happens when you're doing arson investigations, and also trying to determine where the origin was, if it was near some type of electricity. So we're still at that point of the investigation. Fast-moving fire left about a dozen people homeless. None of the row houses had working smoke detectors. We're releasing the video now as opposed to waiting weeks. Who knows, this could have been a transient person, it could have been a person that was just visiting family, that just happened to be walking through the area. So that's why we don't want to waste any time, even though we don't have the cause of the fire yet. Now, anyone who recognizes the person in that video should contact state police in Greensburg. I'm Ralph Iannotti.